Now that's art. What up friends, Liron here. Thank you for joining me in another video. Um, today I want to talk to you about my three pillars uh, in my work life, meaning the three areas I currently focus on. Then we're gonna sit somewhere and we're gonna just talk a bit. So uh, the three pillars I want to talk about, and it's going to sound a little funny, and many of you don't know, so it's the three pillars of my work life right now. Um, the first one is creation and art. Uh, this is everything that has to do with free time for me to create and make my art happen. Sketches, watercolor painting, all of that good stuff. The second one is communication with my audience, which is what's going on right now, which is everything to do with content production and uh, videos and emails and all of that good stuff and the third one is money because it's really important um, as an artist and I know a lot of artists just don't don't have that mentality but I do um, about financial success and so these are the three I'm gonna now sort of delve deeper into each and every one of them and talk talk about how um, how they uh, fare together right now because it's always a mix that changes sometimes I focus on one more than the other so it's just I think really interesting to, uh, to see okay friends uh, we have a bit of a rough sun conditions here so I hope you can see me well uh, what we're gonna do is I'm going to elaborate on the uh, pillars I talked to you I mentioned briefly earlier and then what I'm gonna do is try and find something interesting to sketch maybe and uh, show you the process so the first thing we talked about was actually the uh, creation which is a very important obviously part if you're an artist and what I feel like is that uh, all the rest of the things like the other commitments the business and all of that trying to block some of the Sun um, all the other commitments really take away from uh, my pure creation time and it's something something I really need to uh, pay attention to because at the end of the day what I create is what I pass on to you uh, in form of video or whatever it is and also I just want to kind of combine the two things perfectly I'm a bit selfish in that sense I want to combine the whole business and art thing really well so I want to make a business that's very profitable on the one hand but on the other hand I kind of want to always be on top of my own art my own game of art um, being uh, constantly improving in watercolor and sketching and all of that so I don't just want to teach something that I'm not living on a day-to-day -day basis okay this is really 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 uh, important to me and uh, a big part of it is actually like being here and recording this video outside and it's something I'm really not used to and I'm really trying to push myself to bring more and more of this experience uh, for you because this is a part of the creation as well because it's so uh, important for me so that's the the first thing that's kind of the art the creation now the second part is documenting this uh, creation process and sharing it with you um, and so the communication with the audience and I do that mainly on YouTube and Instagram right now um, I find that just YouTube and Instagram are the two things I really enjoy the most so I kind of uh, tend to naturally focus on these platforms and I do see the value in them because YouTube is just a perfect place to share uh, how-tos and tutorials and Instagram is sort of really good for images and pictures um, so documenting this creation and I briefly talked about it in a previous video is a really big part of what I'm doing also for my own selfish reasons of being able to look back and really see my improvement my learning curve the things I learned and be able to look back like five years ago and see all the progress I made um, so it's good for that but also just to bring myself out into the world to create more business opportunities for myself to to make myself more well known as an artist in whatever I choose to to do and I'm trying to really give myself freedom and so uh, if I decide one day that I want to do more sketching go towards that direction I will if I decide that one day I want to um, do some pencils and focus on that for like a few months and like completely let go of watercolor and I'm gonna do that as well um, I really want to feel free because it's 
it's really important to give you the educational value, but for me, it's also really important uh, to have freedom in what I'm doing. Because if I have freedom, I'm happy with what I'm doing, you're, you get a good result and then you become happy as well. So that's the second thing. Now the third one, which is really important for me, and uh, it's really what sets me apart from many other artists, is the whole um, money and business thing. Someone's looking at me. You can join me in the video. <laughs> Uh, no, you can really join me. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, and this is what really uh, separates me from, I think, many artists is that I do have a strong... Uh, you speak English? Yes. Yes. It's a blog. Like, um, I speak about what? About uh, the business side of art. So I was uh, interrupted uh, by this very nice woman. Uh, she didn't want to be on camera, so I'll cut everything that with her, but uh, very interesting, very, um, just relates to what I just talked about, um, about the business side. So I know a lot of artists, eventually, I'm gonna just try and find my uh, thread of thought. So a lot of artists don't really have that in them, the business side, and I was always like that. I was always thinking about how I can sell uh, something, you know, my uh, my courses, my books, my knowledge, my anything like that. And I'm fascinated by that. I love to sell what I what I know and to have people pay me for something that I know is worth it. You know, uh, it's hard for me to sell someone else's product or a product I don't believe in. But for my own stuff, like I love it. And you don't see me promote too much here on YouTube because my main focus for selling is actually uh, not here. I try and not sell directly to you because I want you to enjoy the content for free. But every like once in a blue moon, I will like tell you there's a link in the description box. Um, I sell by doing very smart things, hopefully, like using Facebook ads and um, other avenues of, of like paid uh, advertisement, and hopefully it, it goes well, but it's one thing that I really try and focus more on because it doesn't go as much, as, as good as I want to, um, because it takes time, mainly. I'm, I'm doing all the things I need to be doing, I'm, I keep working and improving. Um, and a big part of it is also this channel, like to build more awareness uh, towards the fact that I have something to sell, for example. Um, and I hope that, as I mentioned also in a, in a, in a video I did a while ago, that I can um, sort of cater to that audience, the audience that cares more about the business of art as well. Because if you make good art, that's excellent, but you also need to have the other side of actually knowing how to package it and sell it. Uh, to others because you know you want to make money money will allow you to have more time to create better art uh, so it's a part of it so it's a bit noisy here and I think it's a good time to cut it off uh, friends I feel the video is a little incomplete because I didn't get to talk about uh, the ratio in which these three currently happen in my life um, so the it may be a bit shaky I don't have my tripod here I'm literally holding the camera uh, but what I just wanted to say is um, these three sort of the creation the documentation and the money and the business uh, sort of always shift and change uh, at some periods of, of the year or of my life I may focus on one in others I may focus on another right now I'm at a stage where I'm really focusing hard on documenting and making sure it happens and also on the business side um, because I feel like the business um, making it work the way I want will just allow me a lot of free time to work on the other things and and to be honest with you the art suffers due to that like I wish I could sit down every day for three hours and paint but it just doesn't happen right now you know um, and so in other times I put so much emphasis on art and documenting and I barely dealt with the business side of things usually after completing a product or a big project for example the last course I did um, the beginners drawing course which there's a link to in the description box. Um, this box, this box, <laughs> this course, uh, after finishing it, you know, it was just whoosh, like, uh, uh, sort of, okay, let's now uh, regroup my, 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 like my, art stuff and and really focus on that and right now I'm at a stage where I want to publish another course I want to make sure I increase my profits I want to make sure like things are working and I'm building a good system uh, for the future and so I really have to focus more on that at the moment but because I don't want to to decrease the documenting type so just the art part suffers unfortunately but I do try to make the best out of it meaning so if I can't paint for three hours a day at least I can really work hard on projecting and really freely communicating what I'm doing with the business so that the people that are interested in that can benefit from this time of my life and in different times and different um, 
periods of focus, uh, you can sort of benefit from the one thing that's uh, the most dominant for me right now. So if it's art, it's art. If it's business, it's business and so on. Um, so anyway, uh, this is it. Yeah, I just wanted to add that part in. Uh, so anyway, stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed so far.